Hey, what's going on YouTube? I've got something I am extremely excited about sharing and I'm excited about the prospect of strengthening up a component inside of my RC car that I've been having a lot of problems with lately. Um, and that is the pin inside of the diff. This little pin right here, I don't know about you guys, but I've been breaking those lately. And ever since I put on a 20 tooth pinion gear up in there, and I installed the Hobby Wing fan, I have been having a lot of breakages in my rear differential only when it comes to this little pin. And I've also been breaking my planetary gear, but mostly the pin, to be honest with you. And so I've been kind of on the, on the search for strengthening this component. And one of the things that I found to always be kind of frustrating or annoying, if you take a close look at this little pin, as you put it through the hole, there is just a ton of slop. You take, you put the pin on. The level of play is ridiculous. And in my opinion, based on physics, if you've got that much slop in there, and you're sending immediate bursts of torque straight into these two planetary gears on both sides of the differential, and there's slop in there, you're gonna increase the likelihood of snapping that pin exponentially. So, check it out. MacasterCar.com. This is a piece of hardened steel 2.25 millimeter thick rod. And you know what's interesting is the advertisement for this little pin, when you look at the description, it says it's 2.25 millimeters. Well, I went on to macaster.car.com. I decided to order four different sizes because I wanted to make 100% sure that I, that I found the thickest one possible. And you can see right here, there are my four sizes, and the one that's arrived is this one in my hand. And it's actually 2.25 millimeters, which is what this one says it is when you buy it. But look at this. Look at the difference. You cannot tell me that the stock is 2.25 millimeters round. But here's the beauty. This slides through here perfectly. And there is li very little slop. So I'll be using the trusty Dremel and cutting my own pins out of this hardened steel And just to give you an example of how you can see the difference in the slop, let me put this up against this light here. You're looking for increased trouble when it comes to breaking this pin. Now, I'm not 100% sure if there's a correlation between me jumping up to the 20 tooth pinion gear and me snapping these rings, but I do know, or these pins, but I do know that driving, the way you drive the vehicle has a lot to do with it. Um, you've really gotta be cognizant of, of how much torque you're throwing to the, you know, this, this rig with 6S power. However, I don't wanna have to worry so much about it, so why not beef it up and put something stronger and thicker in there that's gonna get rid of that slop. So, Let's go ahead and mark this 
for where it needs to be cut. Well, so mine is just a tiny bit short, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. There's literally no slop. I'm not sure if it's gonna be that big of a deal that my piece is just a hair too short in there. But I can tell you, there is no slop in there now. And it fits in there great. It's, it's solid. It's a little bit more difficult to pop it in, but doable. Yep. Yeah, there's no slop. There's so little slop, it's Hard for me to even show you. Okay, that's how much slop there is now. Way less. So, I will get this installed in my car. I'll leave my 22 pinion gear as is. I will be using 20K fluid. It is important to use a much lower CST fluid in the rear end. Um, the higher diff fluid you use in the rear, the more careful you need to be when it comes to breaking these gears and also snapping that pin. So having a lower CST diff fluid in the rear is a lot better, especially if you're running a high tooth pinion gear. So. I will let you guys know if I stop breaking these uh, these pins and I also stop breaking the planetary gear. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel for the next video update on this topic, and also share this information. McMaster car, 2.25 millimeter, hardened steel pin, cost $2.75 for this long of a piece. And I think it was like $7 in shipping. So it was like 10 bucks. And I bet you, you might even be able to find somewhere on their website where you can have them cut them for you. I'll look into that and let you know on my next video. Subscribe, throw down a like if you appreciate this information. And uh, East Tactics, out.